Good Thursday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. A flood warning for a glacial dam lake outburst around the Mendenhall River is in effect and will remain in effect until at least Saturday morning. Uh, river gauges are indicating that the glacial dam lake outburst was occurring on the Mendenhall River earlier this morning and the added water from the glacial dam lake into the river system will result in a continued river rise probably for the next two days. Estimated suicide basin lake level uh, rises uh, prior to the release indicate that the river could see similar levels uh, to the 2014 record event of the 11.85 feet that was recorded there. So as a flood warning continues, we're also watching for a wave of rain to move in from the Yukon Territory, moving from east to west. And this easterly wave will uh, continue to expand in coverage as we look around the Copper River Basin north of the Matanuska Valley and into the Alaska Range, where some estimates are over the next two days more than two inches of rain could fall. Widely scattered showers and thunderstorms have been ongoing for a good part of the late morning and early afternoon hours across the central and eastern interior, as well as southwestern Alaska and along the Alaska Range, and we're expecting more of that to fill in as we head into the late afternoon and early evening hours. For tonight, low pressures working up the southeastern coast as well. At 1,004 millibars, that should spread a better chance of rain across more parts of the panhandle. Most of that will be generally light, and any heavier amounts of precipitation will be focused on northern parts of south-central Alaska and the Alaska interior. Showers will be confined to the central part of the Brooks Range, especially the south-facing slopes as we head into Friday. Many areas along the north slope and the uh, eastern and western Brooks Ranges themselves will be relatively dry, looking at a relatively clear sky. Coastal areas, however, under the influence of high pressure sitting over the northern Bering Sea at 1,019 millibars, will probably be looking at some areas of fog all the way through Friday and into Saturday. Looking further north and west across the Chukchi Sea, a cold front is dropping south and east, heading for the Chukchi Coast and the Bering Strait communities. With that, expect an advance of clouds and maybe some drizzle or light rain. High pressure around St. Matthew westward is holding back and pretty much destroyed any areas of cooler weather and a frontal boundary across the Aleutians. Showers will remain near the islands. And widely scattered showers and thunderstorms should be expected again across the interior, southwest, and south-central for Saturday. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave.